Jesus' eye. Take a look, it's in a book, reading rainbow. Not a chance in town. <laughs> Where the fuck is LeVar Burton when he ate him? <laughs> oh, hell. Sith will not fly anywhere. <laughs> oh, he will not take a look. It's not in his book. Are we doing a free? I had taken a fly. I flew into Cali. Are you doing that? that? You... I already had a whole bottle of that, dude. I'm good. All right, cool. So let's do it by ourselves. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Star Beer Reviews. Tonight with uh, Fuzz, Heist Almighty off camera, and Sith, we're going to take a look at a beer that was brought back by Fuzz from Maine. Gonna take a look at Gritty's, Maine's best IPA. Don't let the name fool you. Does have a damn crab <laughs> on it? Uh, apparently, yeah. It's got a, it a crab a holding lobster. a beer. Lobster. A lobster holding a beer. 6.8 oh, uh, ABV, brewed and bottled in Portland, Maine by Gritty McDuff's Brewing Co. So, me and I, previously on camera, me and F H uh, Heist had the uh, the Halloween Ale from Gritty's, and we actually really liked that one. So, let's check out this one. It's sure to be poison. So I'll give some to Fuzz at first. Hey, since I brought it back, why do you give it to me first? Because I want to torture you. Because you brought it back. It's your beer. Of course you're going to get first gifts. Unless it's something magical. You know what, if you got too much, I'll take some. No, no, no. No such thing. No such thing as too much beer. So definitely, he's got a, an orange appearance, an off-white head, hey, one you. finger. Is yours look hazy? Very hazy than mine? Bit of you. Yeah, look how different haziness is. So I got the dregs at the bottom because I poured myself last. But you know what? You call those dregs, they're, they're not really. It's just a little hazier. Yeah, a little bit of hue. Yeah, just but a little bit of Mine's not that huey. Or dewey. Or dewey. Or in the news. So looking at that, it's just hazy apricot color. I still have it a looks bit like of that. It looks like that yeah, summer wise. Sticking around. Yep, it's got it's some sticky around. head. Mm. That's what she said. Still a snapper. Oh, big ass Ooh, biscuit. Wow. Ooh. Ah, smells. Wow, biscuits are burning. Oh, smell sour Damn. biscuit. Damn. Sour biscuit, sourdough biscuit. Oh. Yep. Big ass biscuit. There's hardly any oh, rock smell of that. Maybe. Where? Maybe where? Sour, where? Maybe. Oh. Maine's best IPA. Maine's worst <laughs> IPA. Yeah. You ever heard of Rising Tide? <laughs> Rising Tide Brewery from. Anyway. Oh, this is so. Like, we haven't had their IPA. Well, yeah, we were, we're about to. I imagine it's better than this. Oh, man. It was it's probably not. I this know. was really biscuity. What was that? I, we had one IPA that was this biscuity before. I forget what it was. It was, was it the Fuggles? Yeah, Shipyard was like. The Shipyard biscuit. Fuggles. The shipyard Fuggles, and then we're going to dupe it out. Seriously? Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about. Um, we had another one. Oh, monkey we'll, worry, we'll worry about it later, anyway. Ah, monkey fist! It's big ass biscuit, sour biscuit. Let's put this thing down the hatch and have its misery. It's very much. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, don't oversell it or anything. Ah! <laughs> mm. It tastes like something you. It's like tasting green beans you just pull into your garden and no! burn them. Uh, worse. It's beets. <laughs> You spit garden, beets. garden beets. Garden beets. You just pulled out of the friggin' garden. You don't eat them right after you take them out of the garden. You pickle them first. I don't boil them at all. Do you well, spit hot you know borscht when you crush like? these beets? Do you spit hot borscht when you crush these beets? Yeah! Yeah! Alright, let's stop insulting the beer because it's, it's not as horrible as we're letting on. It's got this big sourdough bread kind of taste, that biscuit taste. I mixed in with some earthy, traditional style earthy hops. It's a very much a traditional IPA. So, it's like when you were a kid, and you went to the garden, you grabbed a turnip, <laughs> and you took a big bite out of the turnip. <laughs> garden carrots. No. Something no. I would actually eat. Garden the carrots gardens. are far, far better. Even yeah. with the I'm talking, yeah, with, with still with the dirt on. No, no, still either way, that's not enough dirt for that. Either way, it's earthy, dirty hops in this it, thing. It, it's, it's, got, it's got a lot With of dirty, dirty hops. A big sourdough biscuit. And um, we're getting mixed opinions. Uh, we're not even mixed, I think, at this point. No. It's not what I would consider Maine's best IPA. It's God, definitely no. a more traditional God, one, and I think the shipyard really pulls this one a little bit. <laughs> um, oh. The lobster can go to hell. No, I'm not going to fail it, though. I'm going to give it at least a... Three, but it's it's not what I would consider Maine's best IPA. But I, I might drink it if I had another bottle, but I wouldn't prefer to. What are you there, Seth? 
Well, that depends. If you don't let it hit the back of your mouth to actually get that, that grittiness, it's actually really good. But, hmm. but if, if, you, if you actually let it kind of sit and you actually take in the flavors and you're letting it sit around, you're letting it like mush, and then when you swallow, all you get is a mouthful of dirt. So yeah. I'm sorry, it's a little bit too dirty for me. I don't like my, yeah. I don't like them dirty. Swish And, 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 and you're short? I, I'm gonna give it two. What? Two. Two? Um, it smells terrible, it smells like sour biscuit, it tastes like sour biscuit. Put it on the tip of your tongue, sour, hoppish, IPA, in the middle of your it, tongue, it's basically strong, the of everything you hate. Back of your tongue, dirt, dirt. I would rather go outside and lick the dirt off my driveway. Oh, wow. Disclaimer, Buzz doesn't like IPAs to begin with. True. Um, I've had worse IPAs, I think. What? Yeah. I've had far oh, worse yeah. IPAs. I've had more cider ones. So my uh, score is going to be a 1.25. Wow. My, I had one a little fresher. Uh, I found that instead of tasting purely like dirt, uh, it was kind of biscuit and uh, I, I euphemistically put resin. I kind of felt that it tasted like skunky weed. Um, I, I gave it a I gave it a three and a quarter. Marijuana. It tastes like skunky marijuana, like the kind you'd smell out back behind the dorm. Yeah. Well, I, don't even, I don't even like marijuana. Never had it. Well, imagine chewing on a big handful of it. No, so I don't it, want it. A little bit more biscuits coming through, so it's now it's marijuana and the munchies. Need marijuana oh, biscuits. <laughs> hash brownies. No, brownies. No, brownies. brownies hash, are good. hash biscuits. Hash, hash biscuits. biscuits. All right, cool. So yeah, that's our opinion of Maine's best IPA. Maine's worst. Best in I in name only. Yeah, I'm sure there are worse ones, but not by much. <laughs> in Maine. <laughs> in Maine, yes. Okay. Not that I've had. Buggles. I don't think that Shipyard's Fuggles wasn't that bad. It's just cheers. Like it. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you folks later. Hope you didn't dislike it too much. Talk to you later. Mother Fuggles! Mother Fuggles? Oh, we'll